Hello guys, Gaon2345678900 here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on subtraction within a binary machine. Now, this is not as straightforward as it sounds because we cannot build a device which actually subtracts, and so we must use the relative complement of a number within a set as the additive inverse of that number within that set. And so I will be first showing you how to find the complement of a number in any base number system, and then I will be showing you how that number can be for used to perform subtraction, and then I'll be showing you how this can be applied to binary to create a simple algorithm for subtraction which can be easily implemented. So let's begin by defining what the complement of a number is within a set. And the first thing we must do is define a set. And so our set is going to be uh, basically the length of this, and this is going to be called z. Our set is z. And within z, we are going to have a number a. And this number a is the number which we are trying to find the complement of. Now, uh, a must be less than z. So, yeah. And we are going to be trying to subtract a from another number. So, the complement of a is simply going to be all the elements within z, but not within a. So, let's make this. This is the complement, and we will be calling it b. Now let's uh, figure out what this complement is equal to. So I'll just quickly jump over there. I overshot it a bit. So uh, a plus b equals the z. I think that was plain to see from the diagram over there. Now uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, it's also kind of obvious. b is equal to negative a plus z, meaning that we can use b to subtract a from another number. The only issue is we have this pesky z over here, which uh, will sort of take care of itself, as we will see. Um, let's fix this over here. Okay. So, let's make a number c. Now, this is the number from which we're going to try to subtract a. Now, let's add b and hence we will be subtracting a and adding z. I think that's right, yep. Now, I think it is pretty clear to see here that the amount of distance here is going to be the difference between c and a. And we can also see that this is also the difference between c and a. So simply, if we can remove the uh, bit that is contained within z, we will have our difference. And so that is what we want. Now, this sort of takes care of itself for us, and that is because this is a modular system. And within modular systems, we have to perform modular, modulus addition. And what that is, is simply, if our sum is equal to the set that we are in, greater than or equal to, we then start at zero again. So basically, once a plus b reached this point here, we started counting at zero again. So our result was three blocks. Now I will give you um, a few examples of what modular systems are. For example, if you're familiar with uh, degrees, um, once you reach 360, you can basically start at zero again. And then if you go to say 450 degrees, that's going to be uh, 360 plus 90, so we subtract 360 and we get 90 degrees. So 450 is equal to 90 degrees in um, that modular system. And same thing can be said for like the 24 hour clock. If I said 36 hours, that would be the same thing as uh, 12 hours, and you can see how this works. And if I said 24 hours, it'd be zero hours essentially. Now, um, that is where the subtraction of z comes into play. Once we reach z, uh, z basically subtracts itself, and uh, well, we will see how that works within, um, in this case, a binary system. Uh, and we will see how that manifests itself. But um, basically, b is subtracted as soon as we reach, or sorry, z is subtracted as soon as we reach uh, z. So our result is going to be c minus a. And so let's look over here. I have another equation written out. So c plus b is equal to c minus a plus z, and then if c plus b is greater than or equal to, oops, 
or equal to z, then we subtract another z. And that's how it works. Now, um, what if c uh, plus b was not uh, greater than z? So let's look at this case. Okay, now we can see that our difference is going to be 2. That's the absolute value. And we know that since we're subtracting uh, a from c, we, want, we are going to get a negative answer. Now, um, we can see that our difference is over here. I'm going to write this in white. This is our difference. Now, so how do we find the amount of space here? Well, simply, that's going to be the complement of c plus b. And so all we have to do is find their complement and we get this number here which we will call d. And uh, yeah, so that's about it really. If you don't reach your domain then you simply uh, find the complement of your result. And this is a very important thing that allows us to differentiate between positive differences and negative differences within a binary machine or if you were doing this in any other base you'd notice a similar effect but um, in binary uh, we only have ones and zeros so it's um, a little more clear. Anyway, so let's uh, let's look at uh, binary. Right. So in binary we are going to have uh, a set which is equal to uh, one with a bunch of zeros after it and I've shown over here that in a 4-bit set, uh, for example, we would have 2, or in this case 10, because we're writing in binary, to the amount of bits, right? So that's 4 bits, so 100 zero zero is equal to 4, in this case it's 100, so 10 to the 100 is 10,000, which in decimal means uh, 16. So in a 4-bit set, we have uh, 16 different numbers which we can have, and basically you can think about it as writing the amount of bits as the number of zeros in our set. So in this case, over here, which I've written out, we'd be looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bit set. Um, so we have, uh, was it 64? Uh, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64 different combinations. So yes, so A is going to be some random mix of ones and zeros, Can you, if you can agree with that. Uh, then we are going to add b, and b is going to be the complement of a. So let's think about how we can find what b is. b is going to be uh, the difference of this number and this number, but we don't want to subtract. So simply, if we wanted to, we can invert a and add it to a to get one zero zero. Uh, sorry, one 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 one. Okay, so that's a simple way of finding uh, 1 less than b. And so then if we add 1, then we get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's how we find the complement of a number in binary, simply. We simply invert the number which we are trying to find the complement of and then add 1. And that's where that, uh, that uh, method you probably see everywhere on YouTube with almost no explanation comes from. So now let's uh, write this out. The exclamation point before a means bitwise inversion, which is simply inverting, uh, turning a 1 into 0 and 0 into 1, as we've seen over here. And so uh, b is equal to not a plus 1, and that's how we do it. Now let's go over here to this problem I've written out on paper, so to say, and we will try to uh, perform a subtraction using uh, complements. So uh, this is 9 plus 3, and so what do we do? Well, first we invert the uh, negative number, and then we add 1. So simply, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 inverted is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0. Then we add 1, and it becomes 1, 1, 0, 1. And if you have watched my addition tutorial, then you know how to add. And so we can clearly see that uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, 
plus 0 is uh, 1, plus 1 is 1, uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, and we get 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And notice that this 1 is going to be outside of our set. And so our result is 0, 1, 1, 0, which is 6, and that is the result that we wanted. That's 9 minus 3. So keep in mind that we did reach our set, because if we didn't reach our set, this wouldn't be here. So what that means is that we have a positive difference. Now, let's look at the case where, where we are subtracting 9 from 3. So let's uh, invert 9 and subtract from 3. So 9 inverted is simply going to be uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, plus 1 is simply going to be 0, 1, 1, 1. So uh, let's just add them together. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, plus 2 is uh, 1 carry 1, uh, plus 1 is uh, 0 carry 1, plus 0 is 1. So our answer is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, which is 10, which is strange. Right, But remember, that's simply uh, b plus c that we are seeing. We are not seeing the z subtracted out. And so when we uh, subtract the z, uh, sorry, we can't subtract the z in this case. What we have to do is then find the complement of uh, c plus b. And the complement of this is simply going to be the inverted bits plus 1. So we invert the bits and we get uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and then we add 1 and we get 0, 1, 1, 0. And keep in mind that we did not reach our set, otherwise this would be 1. So this is 0. And see? So we get 0, 1, 1, 0, which is 6. Again, so 3 minus 9 is 6, uh, but negative because we did not reach our set. And so that's how you perform subtraction in binary using complements. Now let's see this implemented into a machine. So over here I have an adder and uh, you can see that the bottom inputs are inverted and I've turned on the carry-in. Now turning on the carry-in is going to add 1. Okay, so then uh, we can simply input the numbers that we want and the bottom one's going to be inverted by default. And there we have it. I've input 9 on the top and 3 in the bottom, and we get 6. And our carryout is on. Now let's see what happens when we flip these. So now I'm subtracting 9 from 3. Again, uh, well actually no, sorry. We get uh, 10 this time, 1, 0, 1, 0. But notice our carryout is off. So we have to find the complement of 10. And to find the complement of 10, we simply subtract 10 from 0. And that's going to be like this. And you can see that our result is 6. And so that's what we wanted. And again, our, our carryout is off. And so that's how you perform subtraction in a binary machine using complements. Um, now, if I was unclear on anything or uh, mindlessly said incorrect things because... Uh, when I'm doing these things, I sort of lose track of what I'm actually saying. Uh, that's why I have all this stuff out from previous takes. Uh, just tell me in the comments and I will uh, hopefully explain myself. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions that you want to ask me in person, or if you want to build some awesome redstone with awesome people, uh, come check out the RDF. Uh, the server IP is mc.redstonedev.net, and our website is redstonedev.net. So yeah, come check us out, and thanks for watching, guys. See ya.